Hey, what's going on, guys, and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly, and in today's episode, we are going to take a look at how to leverage native layout conditions to test different layouts on a live site. So, for example, I have blog template A set as my primary template for my blog. So if I jump over to the front end of the site here and I refresh, this is what the public sees, and this is what the public should be seeing. But if I jump back into Cornerstone here, you'll notice that my client asked me to test out blog template B, which is this one here, and blog template C. And they want to route these around internally for approvals before we actually go live. Now, I could very well test this out in a staging environment, but these are pretty minor changes to the layout. So how would I preview this on the live site without actually pushing these live just yet? Well, the way we would do that is with layout conditions. So let's go ahead and take a look at template A, which is our primary. Currently, template A under settings and conditions is set to show if the post type is post and it has a priority of zero. So this is our main layout. Let's jump into template B here. And the way we're gonna test this is pretty simple. We're gonna jump into settings and under those same conditions, we are going to set the same as the first one. So post type is post, but we also wanna add another condition here. We're gonna scroll all the way down to expressions, which is this section right here. And I'm going to choose a numeric expression. So I'm gonna click on number here, and I'm gonna come into dynamic content and type in query string, and I wanna use the query string parameter. So I'm gonna click on that, and I get to pick any key I want here because the client's gonna be looking at versions one, two, and three. Uh, I'm gonna just type in V for version, but this could be anything you wanted it to be. And I'm gonna click the plus sign to add that into my conditions. Now, this is template B. So I'm gonna say version equals, and this is a numeric value, so we're gonna do two. So this is version two that we wanna test. And the final thing we need to do is have a priority that is lower than our primary template. So in this case, I'm gonna do negative one as our priority. Now I'm gonna do the same thing over on template C here. So you'll notice template C uses this blue background. And I'm gonna come into conditions, set this to post type is post, and number query string parameter V equals three. So we have V equals two in this one here. We have V equals three in this one here. And we need to set that priority to negative one as well. And now we'll go ahead and save and we get to see the magic taking place. So let's jump back to the front end of the site. And this is the template that is currently live. And this is the one that should be live. This is the one that the public is seeing. But now we can send a link to our clients with question mark V equals two in the URL bar. And that's gonna pull up version two. Likewise, we can change that two to a three and that's gonna pull up version three. And with this, the client can add that question mark V equals two or V equals three to the end of any blog post URL to see what this layout template is going to look like. So as I'm sure you could tell already, there are plenty of use cases for this. You could show different layouts based on different ad parameters that come through on a URL. You could show different layouts based on different times of day or months of the year. The sky is really the limit. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful and happy building.